suppose the real question in all of this is how many acts are there and when does shit start to get sear what the fuck is this there's a pit in the ground That doesn't bode well for things to come. Hey! Oh, 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 shit! Demon! So, they start to spawn a little more regularly. He's actually coming at me. I can run for a bit. I don't think they, like, pose much of a fucking duck! Ow! I was not expecting death that quickly. I suppose that was a good indication of things to come, though, when the fucking first trap was open. So I guess we go this way again, because there's a cabin or something here in the woods. Yeah, give that one a miss. And then dude materializes from the trees again. No? Deciding not to join us this time, mate? No? Where are you? Whoop, 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 whoop. I don't know where... Oh, there it is. So now I have to keep a fucking eye out for... The creepy demon things that are... A bit of a threat, but not much of a threat. Oh good, I can't get up there. Can I? Is there a way up here? Have to keep an eye out for demons. As well as trying to get up to places that maybe... Oh, oh right, I have a fucking duck! Apparently, whatever... Hello. Whoa. Okay. He doesn't like the flashlight. We're gonna run a bit. Way to put my hair on fucking end. Oh, shivers down my spine and shit. We're gonna run into the bushes here, because that's always a good idea. Hello? Is anybody out there? That's not a good sound. Oh, jeez. There's a demon in the trees. So when that rumbling starts to pick up, there's a demon nearby. Well, I suppose it's a good thing that they're finally starting to be more of a threat, because before they were just kind of meandering on. I would notice one and walk away. Actually, I only noticed the one so far. I had only noticed the one. Now I've noticed several. And they seem to be annoyed when I turn on my light. I don't think I should be taunting them, no, though. Um. This seems promising. A little bit too quiet, though. He says. As death approaches. There must be a page over here. Right? That's what that noise is? It's a page? Yep. Oh, bright you as hell. could call a hotel. Two persons per bed. We woke up at 9 a.m. It was actually quite comfortable, although it was a little cold because we forgot to close the window vent. We ate breakfast, packed our things, and at 11 a.m. we were ready to go. We set off Marley, in the back of a truck, so it was a bit cold. During the ride, we talked about absolutely everything we could think of. On the spot, we spoke with some local workers. I remembered one in particular. He had a red beard. Friends called him Beardman. Oh, we cooked so original. dinner and now we are resting. At least they didn't call him Redbeard. Half of the group is looking at some maps. The rest are sleeping. I started handling the equipment and writing. It is still a bit too cold. My hands are shaking, but finally my thoughts are much brighter than yesterday. No creepiness in them whatsoever. 
There's a long way ahead of us, but the only thing I can feel is excitement. It seems as if the forest is calling us. That beautiful, magical dark. Whoops. Just cut her off in her last words. As I wander through the dark abyss that is this game, I am wondering if it is a good idea to turn my flashlight on, if maybe that would help. But I can't help but think, af especially after seeing that one freak the fuck out when I shine my light at it, that it's probably not a good idea to even bother. And that wandering through the dark, although creepier, is probably safer. But I really don't even know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing besides picking up these pages. And avoiding the... Oh, fuck. That demon's coming at me. Okay, I'll go the other way. It's almost like they're there to be like, No, no, you've already been this way. What are you doing? Go back the other way. Go the other way, Ben. Get on with the story. I also don't know if they're particularly walking at me or if they're just walking in general and then when they see me, that's when they start to advance. Either are possible. Is this a cliff? Fucking A. It is a cliff. Probably a bad idea to walk off into that. At least it's fairly easy to see these things, and as far as I can tell, it's very easy to avoid them as well. Uh-oh. Oh, shit, I almost walked into the fucker. How do you like that? Can I burn you? Whoa, you run at me! Whoops. <laughs> okay. If you point at them long enough, they run at you. Keep your eyes and ears open. Danger may appear everywhere. It's probably not so good that in the second... Or that I've now gotten a little bit of uh, courage about me. Because now I'm going to be a bit foolhardy as I run through here. At least I know when that rumble picks up, I can pick out what direction it's coming from and not go into debt. Well, I say that. I fucking did it the last time. Um, I don't know which way I need to go from here. Though I know... I hear a page nearby, which is good. There's a page. Yay. There we go. Seversk is a closed city in Tomsk Oblast, Russia. Located 15 kilometers northwest of Tomsk, on the night bank of the Tom River, and is in the hands of Rosatom, the Federal Atomic Energy Agency. The Fae. Or maybe the Fae. Yeah. Founded in 1949, it was known as Piati Portove, the fifth postal. Town status was granted in 1956. It comprises several nuclear reactors and chemical plants. Is something really coming at me while I'm reading? Papa, Papa, don't appreciate the thunder. <laughs> 